the yummy skim. Oops, yummy skim. <laughs> Sometimes the tube just isn't really true. Oop, oop. You ain't gonna do that to me. <laughs> Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. That alone will have you smelling scrum delicious. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. What up, good morning, it's your girl Mena, and in this video we are going to be doing a very casual, in my bathroom, chatty, get ready with me with skincare, hair, makeup, because like, wowzers, I just worked out, I have not done my hair, you know, like all the things. So I like to do videos like this because they're just very casual and relational, you know, in the bathroom, we do a lot of chatting, so I do hope that you enjoy this video. Make sure you are subscribed, follow me on Instagram, because when I'm not here, I am there. I post three times a week, here so don't miss any of those videos and we're gonna just get right into it so as you can see <laughs> the hair is in two braids it was in a wig it does need to be washed I'm standing here contemplating okay just for ease I'm going to just <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hair with these two braids in so here are the two braids and when I say wash I mean co-wash it's conditioner wash girl we we do a shampoo I do shampoo once a month and right now is not the time okay, so I told you that I just worked out right I need to exfoliate my skin I have this nasty pimple oh it's one of those that I just want to pop so badly but we're not supposed to it's grossing me out a little bit it's annoying and I don't like to wash my face and then my hair because product on the face I don't want left over so I want to wash my hair in the shower first and then wash my face in the shower but right now I want to attack this I'm gonna attack this pretty aggressively I'm walking you through so you can understand my thought process all right so here's what I'm gonna do right now before I go in the shower I'm gonna use this peace out skincare blemish balm it has salicylic acid niacinamide hyaluronic acid and eight amino acid complex so the salicylic acid is a BHA which penetrates beneath the surface of the skin to clear out the bacteria that causes acne okay so it's bacteria that causes acne in the chin is the problem my chin has been doing really well if you've been around here for a while but ugh, this is bothering me and so taking some of this paste and rubbing it on the chin I'm gonna leave it a little bit too on wet or dry skin gently massage a dime size amount in a circular motion onto the face and neck avoid the eye area rinse thoroughly with warm water okay so let me do my whole chin because the whole chin tends to be a problem but right now, of course, is one uh, one area right here. It is so tempting to want to pop this. If you normally pop your pimples, raise your hand and, and be honest. I want you to comment below and let me know, baby girl. And you know what? I can't lie. Since I'm here, I do just want to get my nose. You know, have you ever squeezed your nose and then saw white stuff come out? Oh my God, it's the grossest thing ever. It's a buildup of something. I don't know the technical term, but this, Salicylic acid is a great product to, again, clear out the pores. It clears very deeply. So I'm going to just put this here just to give the nose some extra care. And then while I'm at it, I can't lie to you, I'm gonna go ahead and do my forehead. You know why? This is the T-zone. This is where the oil buildup happens and where the acne happens. And I'm avoiding my microblading because hello, I'm not trying to disrupt the pigment in my skin. I didn't go through this pain for nothing. Speaking of, I have not done my touch up. It's like such a problem. All right, I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and then I'm going to go wash my hair in my face and obviously take a shower and then we'll come back and finish from there. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. I got out of the shower and I started doing my skincare and completely forgot that I was taking you along the journey with me. <laughs> Ooh, so annoyed. Okay, so first step was the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And then second step was Sephora Vitamin C and E Serum. And then now this is the Dermalogica SPF 50 moisturizer, which does take some working in and then it shears out. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. Thank you. 
Alrighty, you saw me lotion up using the Brazilian. No, actually, that's not the Brazilian one. That's the Sal Janeiro Copacabana cream. It's not next to me, but you saw that, and it smells so good. If you don't want to put any fragrance on after that, that alone will have you smelling scrumdily umptious, all the things like amazingness. But you know me, I like to overkill the fragrance. It was so funny because even yesterday I went to Nini's school to pick him up, and I was saying something to one of the teachers out the window, and apparently the breeze broke through the car and she was like is that boom boom cream and i was like i said yes but it was really this one the blue container was so funny she even recognized it i think she had it on or obviously she's a fan okay so i co-washed my hair in the shower or whatever i keep it really simple because i moisturize my hair through co-washing yeah sometimes i'll spray a leave-in conditioner but not always right now i'm gonna use the sal Janetto hair oil nourishing hair oil i like to put an oil toward the front of my hair because that's where there's a lot of friction with the combs from my wigs and the gelling back and blah 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 okay so that's how we gonna do it but i'm not focusing so much on the rest of the hair because i just co-washed it like i said my hair gets hydration from the conditioner okay and then put my what's it called you know this on whatever girl and then i'm going to just gel the immediate front of my hair no need to gel the whole thing got to be because there's just no need i used to gel the whole thing it's just a waste of time and you know leads to more breakage on the hair blah 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 i really just need this front part to be glued down so the black got to be bottle is what i like to use because usually it doesn't flake because the yellow one back in the day years ago when i used to use it i saw flaking you know the white residue so i like to do this just a little bit and let it dry sometimes i will if i'm in a rush take my handy dandy fan which has makeup on it i'm so annoyed has makeup on it. Hi. and then i just give it a little dry to hurry it up notice how my spf has absorbed into my skin so looking sheer and great oh my god and also i just realized remember the pimple that was on my chin it does not look as pussy <gasps> as it did a little bit ago when we first started. It does feel scabbed up, so we definitely dried it out. I'm excited, you see? Just a little patience and doing things correctly will take you a long way. So that's about to be gone, 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 honey. And now I got my wrap strips and my filthy br edge brush because if your edge brush is clean, I don't trust you. I have a lot of questions if your edge brush is clean. It's gotta be filthy. <laughs> that's how I know you a real one, hi. Brush this back because it's a must and then I'm gonna tie it down with my wrapping strips which allows for maximum air to pass through in order to allow the hair to dry fast you tie it down with a head tie you won't be here for a little bit I mean it is a small area so it ain't gonna you ain't gonna be here for that long but this will of course dry faster allow your hair to dry faster basically All right, here's my wig. A lot of y'all love this wig so much. It's always so interesting to me because I'm like, this is so old and it is not in the greatest shape that I would like, but apparently it looks great. So I'm like, okay. I mean, the wig is not messed up. It does come with two combs and it's a four by four, which I love. It's actually straight. It comes straight. And then I curled it. You know, when I did the video where I was following that beautiful black young lady who <laughs> taught us how to do the silky straight, press thing majiggy. This is the wig that I used. So it's a straight wig that when washed turns a little wavy. And after I had washed it, I was like, you know what? Let me give her a curl. And I curled her very simply and y'all love it. I, I, I can't lie, I love it too. Anyway, this is it. The curls have fallen. When I do curl it, it is really, really gorge. Right now it just looks like this. So, okay, so this is the wig, this is the wig. I know a lot of y'all love it. 
I'm gonna link it below. Okay, baby, we are starting off with a lip primer. I'm gonna link the MAC Prep and Prime lip below because this one is <laughs> unavailable, you know? Dennis and Myrick's Yummy Skin Situation, okay? Yummy Skin Glow Serum is first. Obviously, I've already done my skincare routine. That's a must. Don't ever, ever skip that. It's definitely looking like a shimmer, golden situation. So let's start. It's looking a little bit like the Rose Ink product that I recently did a campaign with on IG. If you saw, you saw. If you know, you know. Interesting. Now, if you're looking for obviously a very dewy base by itself or under makeup, this is perfect. We are walking into the summer months or whatever. So this ain't gonna be my go-to for the summertime, but I can see myself using this for sure in the winter time when I'm feeling wicked dry. But here we are putting it on underneath the yummy skin foundation. I'm gonna just leave it there. I'm not gonna do my whole face. I kind of actually wish I had just done the outer part and not my T-zone, but I'm so used to applying primer in my T-zone zone that that is where I went first. Here we are. This does feel really good. It feels like skincare. It was very hydrating. I'm patting because I don't want to disrupt the layers of skincare that I've already done. You know, that happens sometimes and then makes things look really nasty and it's not always a reflection of the product itself. But I mean, it just looks like a serum. I mean, it is a serum, <laughs> you know, it just looks like skincare. What do you think? Comment and let me know. Get a little close. I don't know. I think it looks great. Comment, let me know if you have this and how you plan on using it. All right, and then next we have the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. Now, interestingly enough, I purchased this on the day that it launched. And then uh, later going through PR, I saw that Denise Myers sent it to me, you know, the brand sent it to me and I was like, dang it. So they did send me 21N and another one, but I feel like 21N is my color. Although looking at it in the tube, it's very concerning. Now we all know that sometimes the tube doesn't really show us the real true color. You feel what I'm saying? This says to shake, 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 and then squeeze out a pea-sized amount. That's it? A pea-sized amount for even smooth coverage. Pea-sized? I mean, this is more like red carpet makeup, so. Skincare hybrid foundation with medium buildable coverage. Provides antioxidant boost, balance, hydration, and moisture. Okay, so we are doing the do. We are doing a do today, baby, okay? Give it a little twist and let's put this, I feel like I should use my fingers because, okay, I think this is gonna work. Ah, oh, good. I was nervous. You know, I don't normally use my fingers, but I just wanna see, oh. <sighs> it's looking more neutral than I prefer, but it also reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury where it looked crazy at first. And then when I blended it, it was okay. So let's do that. Okay, let's spread this around because it's looking real psychotic in the middle like that. Oh, this does feel very hydrating. Definitely do just need a pea-sized amount. <laughs> I see what you're saying, Danessa. I really do. You know, I was skeptical. I can't lie. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But like, I see what you were trying to do though. I see what you were trying to tell the girls. I wanna rub it, but again, I'm nervous because I've got product right in my face and I wanna make things like gooey and weird. But yeah, I, I definitely took too much on this side. I'm going to try to spread it over here. It's very rich, like rich. You can definitely wear this by itself if you have very dry skin. Or let's say you have combination skin and you just like to look dewy. I don't think I look greasy. There's a difference between, somebody commented that on, on my post recently that she likes to look dewy. Here's the thing. Youthful skin is dewy. Young people have oily skin. That's a youthful trait. And then as we get older, we lose our, li what, our lipids or you know ceramides and all of that. So our skin gets so dry. So youthful skin is dewy. And this does give a very youthful look. You could totally do this by itself. Of course, I never would because I like a full face, but wow, yes, I do see the medium coverage for sure. Wow and wow. Uh oh, is it building up on my hands? <sighs> Look at my hands. I'm getting build up. And you see that I was just patting. This is the thing. This is the problem when you have layers of different product on. I did my skincare as usual. I mean, on the skin, it looks good. I don't see any issues on my skin per se. That's why I pat. Imagine if I was wiping it, it would be terrible. Wait a minute. Why is my cheek doing that? Okay, there's a problem on my mouth. Do you see the texture here? 
I mean, before I put this on, I didn't have skin problems here. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's where the clump thing was coming from, but it's not even like I'm seeing a lot of product there. Let me try to salvage this because I'm not really enjoying what's happening right now. <laughs> Hi, so let's just try to salvage this with concealer and move on with the face. I'm sure that once everything is on, it'll come together. I can't imagine that I used too much of the primer, but I feel like it was just in the wrong place. The primer was in the wrong place, but it does say to wear under makeup. But after SPF, perhaps that was the problem. I am not gonna wear this like that again. This is a new concealer. This is Lola's Conceal the Deal Full Coverage Concealer. I have the colors Clove and Mink. I'm gonna start off with Clove. I'll do this one because of the shade of my foundation. If I go here, this will be too light. Oh no, this is too dark. <laughs> oh man, okay, we've already applied it. So let's just get it on. It's too dark. Can you see with the frosty glasses, it's hard to see. This is the color Mink. Let's put this on top because girl, Ooh, I could have went lighter. Oh, but here's the thing. Remember, if I use a darker foundation, mink will pop up more. So let me just hang on to it. It's just because this foundation is so close to my skin tone, the color isn't showing like it would. Crazy. I think this face is looking crazy, real crazy, okay? But here we are, and the goal is to do what? Bring it all together. But I gotta tell you, I'm losing faith. Now, because this foundation color is close to my skin tone, this contour is going to look very harsh, right? We talked about this before. This is the number 70 Sephora brush. This is gonna look real, you see? So I'm gonna need to really sheer this out, you know what I'm saying, so that it's not too dark because wowzers. If I were to be using the Makeup Forever HD Skin, which is a dark, the espresso color is a dark color on me, then this wouldn't be so pronounced, but I don't feel like gonna grab something different and here we are. I gotta blend this really well because it is very, very pronounced. All right, now I'm using the back of the sponge to blend out the harsh lines. The concealer is looking good thus far, I do have to say. I'm gonna set it using the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the color Honey. And then to set my contour, really just to add more contour to my face is this LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer in the color Worthy Deep. And this is an LYS brush too. We going real strong with the contour today, but I just live for a very pronounced contour, baby. And then when I put my face powder on, it will bring all of this together because the coloring on my face is very light. And this is leftover product under my chin. And now my joint is broken. Oh my God. One size Patrick Star. Turn up the base. Versatile powder foundation. Dark 4G. I love the gold. The golden undertone of this. This is going to add more coverage. Obvi. Going to bring everything together and just make it look really good. Soften up the highlight a little bit. Which wasn't really light today anyway. But still. Now the skin looks good, but I still see clumping right here. And even on the side of my nose. Huh, that's gotta be the primer. I wonder if that's what it was. Okay, anyway, let me finish the face. And then we gonna come back.
Okay, okay, okay. We are all done with the look. It did come together. We've talked about this already. One thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the look together, okay? This is a look. I hope that you enjoyed it, learned at least how to finagle stuff if it doesn't go the way you want it to go. I'm not gonna use the Yummy Skin Foundation anymore, I don't think. And I thought about it. I don't wanna use the primer because now I'm concerned how it'll pair with SPF. So I'm just not gonna use it, but that's just my point of view. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about the two of these products in the concealer and this lip by Gwen Stefani. It's the color Give. As always, glad you're here. Glad you watched my video. Let me know how much you love or like this look. I'm looking two videos here for you to watch so you don't have to go very far. Make sure you subscribe to my channel here, follow on Instagram, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.